So fresh off of winning the NCAA Wrestling Championship with two torn ACLs, Spencer Lee just sent a message that he's withdrawing from the U.S. Olympic trials that are upcoming in early April. As an orthopedic surgeon, um, you know, wanted to comment on that. It, first of all, it was a remarkable accomplishment for him to win his third NCAA title with his second ACL tear just eight days before is what he shared. But going forward, I think that for the long-term health of the knee, he's making the right decision and here's why. So it comes down to what happens to your knee when you try to do athletic and rotational type activities with a torn ACL. So if we look at this knee model here, the ACL is this ligament here that attaches between the tibia and the femur. And it's important for stopping the tibia from moving forward or rotational instability of the knee. And so if you continue to do sports and activities with a torn ACL where the knee is having unnatural motion, what can happen is you can start to accumulate other damage in the knee that was not there when you first started with just the ACL tear. For example, because you no longer have that translational stability of the tibia sliding forward, what happens is you start to injure your meniscus on the inside part of the knee, specifically the medial meniscus, which is the secondary stabilizer to the knee sliding forward, okay? So not only that, but with the rotational instability, what can also happen is you can start to accumulate cartilage damage. So you can see the ends of the bone here are lined with softer substance called articular cartilage, bone, articular cartilage, and that acts as a shock absorber. When you have unnatural motion and too much translation of the knee, you can start to also ding that articular cartilage. So I think especially for sport like freestyle wrestling or you know, or Greco-Roman wrestling, for example, versus the traditional folk style wrestling and collegiate wrestling, the freestyle and Greco-Roman are, are, are much, they have a lot more action in terms of if you don't do something on the ground with your opponent, they'll immediately stand you back up. So we know when, he, you know, Spencer Lee, I'm a big wrestling fan, so when Spencer Lee gets on top of you, he's got a very tough uh, back tilt, right? So he gets on top, and you don't necessarily need your ACL for that type of accumulation of points. So he's very dominant from the top position. The difference with the freestyle and the Greco-Roman is once you get on top of someone, if you're not having any action or getting accumulating points pretty quickly, they're very quick to stand you back up. And that's when you're gonna need your ACL, when you're back up on your feet and needing that um, rotational stability of the knee, trying to shoot takedowns, trying to do sprawling. And those are the, those are the exact things that Spencer Lee in his post-win speech said that he was really felt he was limited in doing so. I think it's a smart move for the long-term health of the knee for Spencer Lee. I think, you know, going forward, obviously, he's probably going to pursue an ACL reconstruction. And what I think I'm going to do is I, I have a couple of videos of ACL reconstruction of personal patients of mine and some MMA fighters and other athletes. I will post some links to that so you guys can, can watch some of those clips. And I'll also try to compile a longer ACL reconstruction surgery. But the ACL reconstruction, we call it reconstruction because we are creating a new ACL. So we don't call it an ACL repair. An ACL repair would be if we were to sew something that's torn back together. And it, we know that it doesn't work well at the ACL because the ACL does not have a strong blood supply. So we reconstruct a new ACL using tissue from other aspects of the knee. Central third of the patellar tendon is an option. Um, you can also use the quadricep tendon. Some surgeons still use the hamstring tendon, which comes from the back and wraps around to the front. And then there's cadaver type options too. So. That's another video for another day, but I think for the long-term health of the knee, Spencer Lee and his medical team are making the right decision. We don't want to continue to accumulate further articular cartilage damage and meniscus damage on, on a young, promising athlete, you know, in his, in his younger 20s. So let's reconstruct that ACL, let's regain our knee instability, and let's come back bigger, better, and stronger, okay? So I think it's a uh, congratulations again to Spencer Lee on his recent title and we'll see you guys here again on the channel. Make sure to subscribe and we'll see you guys next time.